Units of measurement. Objectives. Identify the seven SI units. Explain what are derived units. Describe how prefixes can be used to express measurements. Write conversion factors using equalities. And finally, use conversion factors to change from one unit to another. What are measurements? Measurements are obtained when you measure a quantity using a measuring tool. Each measurement contains a number and a unit. For example, 25 meters. 25 is a number and meter is the unit. What are SI base units? The system of units used in chemistry is the International System of Units, or the SI units. It is based on the metric system. There are seven base units that make up this system. Length, meter, mass, kilogram, temperature, kelvin, the amount of substance, mole, electric current, ampere, luminosity, candela. What are derived units? Derived units are made from more than one base unit. For example, speed, volume, and density. What are prefixes? For quantities that are much smaller or larger than the base unit, decimal prefixes and exponential notation are used. In a metric system of units, a prefix attached to any unit increases or decreases its size by some factor of 10. For example, here we have the base unit, which is multiplied by 1, and the exponent form is 10 to the 0 power. Going smaller, we have deci, centi, and milli. Going larger, we have deca, hecto, and kilo. Going even smaller, we have micro, nano, and pico. And larger, we have mega, giga, and tera. These are the prefixes, their symbols, multiplier, and exponent form. How can we use prefixes with units? Prefixes can be added in front of the base units, which indicate how many base units are present. Base units commonly used in chemistry are gram, meter, and liter. For example, kilo. One kilo unit is equal to 10 to the third base units. For example, if you were to have two kilograms, that would be two times 10 to the third grams, which is 2000 grams. 1 centi unit is 10 to the minus 2 of that base unit. For example, 25 centimeters is 25 times 10 to the minus 2 meters, which is 0 0.25 meters. Or nano, which is 10 to the minus 9. Here we have 680 nanometers, which is 680 times 10 to the minus 9 meters, or 0. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 680 nanometers. What are equalities and conversion factors? The relationship between units measuring the same quantity is called an equality. Equalities can be written using the selected prefixes table. For example, 1 centimeter is equal to 10 to the minus 2 meters. Conversion factors are equalities written as fractions. Two conversion factors are always possible from an equality. For example, from our equality above 1 cm is equal to 10 to the minus 2 meters, we can have two conversion factors, 1 cm over 10 to the minus 2 meters or 10 to the minus 2 meters over 1 cm. Note, numbers in any equality between two metric units are obtained by definition. Because numbers are in a definition are exact, they do, are not used to determine the number of significant figures. Practice question one. Convert 18 millimeters to meters. Here we're going from millimeters to meters. Our equality from the selected prefixes, one millimeter is equal to 10 to the minus third meter. Our conversion factors, are 1 millimeter over 10 to the minus third meter or 10 to the minus third meter over 1 millimeter. Here we are going to convert from 18 millimeters. So let's try the first conversion factor, 1 millimeter over 10 to the minus third. The millimeters cannot cancel the meters. Therefore, we cannot use this conversion factor. If we use the other conversion fact factor, the millimeters cancel. 
The resulting answer is 18 times 10 to the minus third, or 0.018 meters. Note, choose the conversion factor with the unit you're converting to into the numerator. For example, whatever you want to achieve should be at the top in the conversion factor. Practice problem two. Convert 2.5 liters to milliliters. Here, we're going from liters to milliliters. Our equality would go from one milliliter is equal to 10 to the minus third liter. Conversion factors. Here are our two conversion factors, and we're going from 2.5 liters into milliliters. Therefore, we will select a conversion factor that has milliliter at the top. Here we have one milliliter over 10 to the minus third liters. 2.5 divided by 10 to the minus third milliliter. 2.5 times 10 to the third milliliter is 2,500 milliliters. Practice problem three. Convert 5.8 nanometers to centimeters. Here we have to go first to our base unit, meters, from nanometers to meters, and then from meters, we'll go to centimeters. Our equalities are one nanometer equal 10 to the minus nine meter, and one centimeter equal 10 to the minus two meters. We can write our conversion factors using the note that whatever we're trying to achieve should be at the top. Here we are going from nanometers to meters, so we're gonna write meters at the top. And next, we're going to go from meters to centimeters, so we write centimeters at the top for that conversion factor. Let's set it up. We're going from 5.8 nanometers to meters, and then from meters, we're going to go to centimeters. Our units are going to cancel, and now we have 5.8 times 10 to the minus 9 divided by 10 to the minus 2 centimeters, which is 5.8 times 10 to the minus 7, or 0. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, centimeters.